Hey, how you guys doing? This is Austin with Crack and Junk Removal, back with another video. So we're in Johnson City, Tennessee. We're doing a construction debris cleanup job, and the customer reached out to us last week, and uh, we set up a day today, that's Monday, to come out and do this job. Now, the only thing the customer told me was that he had a mattress and a box spring, which you might have just saw right there, and he said he had a lot of flooring that he was going to be demoing and he needed all that hauled away so we kind of went into this just with that understanding and not realizing there was more to it than just that and prior to this job uh, we actually stopped and you can see there we we got a sofa and a love seat but um, I actually moved the love seat to the van because when I saw that big pile of wood I said I'm going to need all the space I can in the trailer and I didn't want to have to carry all those little bits of wood around into the van so we um had to do a little rearranging prior to doing the job so uh we started getting the big bulky items out that box spring and that mattress and that rug you see there that was from a job we did last week man that thing is heavy uh I, that thing was about probably a couple hundred pounds it was difficult getting it off but um so we're now putting in rest of the large items before we can get to some of the smaller stuff. I'm going to utilize the back part of that trailer to uh, put the wood. And yes, we found some fishing worms. Now maybe one day when I'm not working, I might be able to get out on the lake and put them to use. Because it seems when I'm not working, I'm working. Seems to be the only thing I do. Not a lot of free time, but... Yeah, I did find this nice little pink rug. I thought it might be something my daughter might like. So we put that to the side. If she doesn't, we'll take it to donation with a few other items. And so now we're working on some of these trash bags. There are about, probably about several trash bags. Didn't really go through them. Didn't have the time or the desire. But it just was like household trash, garbage, stuff like that. Uh, nothing of value, really. Getting rid of that yoga mat. Don't want that. And then we got here just uh, kids' toys, it looks like. So a couple little chairs. Put that into the side for donation. You can see the tape on top of that table. It was already damaged. And uh, so we're now we're just breaking it down to conserve space because that's the name of the game in junk removal. Sometimes you just have to maximize every bit of space you have. And that's what we're doing today. So here we got the trash can. And I thought this thing was going to be very helpful, but... You can see I'm already struggling with this thing to get it in there. Again, I'm trying to put everything to the front as possible, but the lid opens out, so you have to pick the trash can up just to get everything to fall out. And, man, this thing was frustrating. I was getting tired of it. I said, you know what, I'm just using this once, and that's it. So got everything out and put that trash can away. We did not use it. Instead, uh, we found some Rubbermaid totes that we were able to put some items in. Uh, the totes came in handy when we were using... Uh, when we were putting the wood away. So we're probably halfway done. Uh, you can see what we have left behind us. We got a pretty decent sized pile. Uh, yeah, picking up all this wood and throwing it in here. Man, I tell you, it's tedious, but here's what we got in the trailer so far. And the van's probably about 75% full. If I didn't pick up those two couches earlier before this job, which I can't say no to that, I'd probably have a lot more space, but... Uh... Got these big jugs of water. By the end of this job, I'm gonna need all this water. I'm telling you, it was quite a workout. It was a lot of debris. So we're gonna see if we can save this water. It does look like it's in there. Still sealed container, so that's Bloop Falls purified drinking water. Let's see if it's still within date. I don't know. We'll see. So this food was in one of the cabinets, as you can see, and it was one of the first things I noticed when I walked into the garage. And I said, I'm gonna save it for last. And I thought it was all gonna be within date, or at least I was hoping, but no all the food is out of date so i was pretty bummed out about that i just have a hard time throwing away food so i, I don't know i'm gonna call uh a food shelter we're all done well almost all done customer has some more items inside he wants us to remove so you can see behind me 
Got the trailer all full to the top. And yes, the van is packed out too, so we're gonna go ahead and go inside and grab one of those few remaining items. I'll show you what that is. So this is a rental property and the previous tenants left behind some items. So the homeowner asked if we would remove it and we gladly did along with, yes, this Firefly Low Country Sweet Tea. Uh, we got rid of that as well. I got the sides on my trailer because I wouldn't have been able to do that in one trip, especially picking up those sofas. So I yeah, put those sides on just at the right time. So I'm glad to get that done. So, all right, now we're going to get some food, relax, call it a day. So thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate your guys' support. I'll catch you guys on the next video.